Sarah and Dustin, let's go ahead and level out your turns and get a nice stable pattern in your flight. And Anima, that, that's a real nice turn. You must be a pilot. And the cabin now is slowly decompressing. And the cabin altitude is slowly rising. And when there's a decompression, the cabin tends to cool. You may notice that the chamber now is starting to get just a little cool. And that's due to the cabin depressurization. You may also notice that your ears pop more than usual. On the climb out, our ears will pop quite often. So these are the earliest signs of a cabin depressurization. And Sarah, I see I put you into some weather. How about we turn to the right? Yeah, turn to the right. Yeah. We'll get you out of the clouds. We want to be able to see where you're going. There you go. Yes. That'll make good video. No thunderstorms, no icing conditions. We're okay. Sammy 103, give me a new heading of 270. 270, and uh, I'm feeling something. And what would that be? Uh, a warmness all over the body, I think. A little bit of a tingling sensation, not a lot, but a little bit. So we've got some. You're starting to feel warm over the body, and you've got some tingling. No. Yeah, in the fingers, especially in the hands. Tingling in the okay. fingers. Okay, two seven zero, almost there. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Sammy one zero three, just hold your current heading of two seven zero. So Anima will keep a, an eye on that warm sensation that you have and the tingling of the fingers. Yep. Sometimes we notice a change in our vision. Sometimes we notice it's harder to concentrate. Please remember, it all comes on very mildly and it's hard to recognize sometimes. And I know you guys are super busy flying your airplanes, which you're doing a good job. And Sarah, do we notice anything yet? I'm noticing a little um, gastrointestinal. Uh, it's, it's starting to bloat. Is it painful? Not yet. Okay. Um, if you need to, um, do, do not be bashful. Um, there's a technique we call the free air release technique. And Dustin, do we notice anything? Can you speak up for me? I, I can't hear you. Yeah, let's get that microphone closer. Sure. Speak a little louder. How about now? You can hear me. Yes. Now? All right. So I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Copy. Uh, a little bit warm. Flushing there. And now you're getting warm flushing. Yep. And. Uh, Concentrate. And it's getting harder to concentrate. About it for now. That's it for now. And <clears throat> and anema, you got tingling of the fingers, your body's feeling warm. What do you notice now? Um a little dizziness kind of a thing. Copy. So that's three good hypoxia sensations. Your dizzy, tingling fingers, warm body. Sammy 103, we suspect a cabin depressurization. Don't your mask. Sammy 101, how's that abdominal discomfort? It's passing, to be honest. It's, pardon me? It's uh, passing. No. Okay, so it's not a problem now? Not a problem. Do you notice anything? Numbness, tingling, warm flushing, vision. I have cold feet. Cold feet. Yes. Okay, copy. And Dustin, you've had warm flushing, and now you're dizzy. What else do we notice? It's uh, a little bit harder to concentrate. 
and it's harder to concentrate. So that's three good sensations. SAMI 102, we suspect a cabin to pressurization. Don your mask. SAMI 102. Dustin, don your mask. Take your headset off first. Sure. SAMI 103, if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up in the camera. SAMI 101, Sarah, do you have cold feet? What else do you notice? Harder to concentrate? Not yet. No. Warm flushing over the face? No, not yet. Um, maybe a heaviness at my shoulders? Heaviness in the shoulders, yes. So you feel kind of heavy. Do you feel sleepy? Do you feel tired? No, not yet. Not yet. How about your vision? I'm starting to feel warmer in my face. Okay, so now you're getting some warm flushing. Do you feel your heart pounding? Slight increase, yes. Yeah, so there's a slight increase in your heart. You're feeling warm flushing. And that's increasing. And that's now increasing. And you felt heavy over the shoulders. Yes. Copy. Let's do one more quick little turn to the right. Let's focus on the... the in, yeah. And tell me about your concentration. Is it? Are you focusing on that more than usual? Yes, it, but I'm also more aware of, of my physiological response. So it, yes. I have dual concentration. Yeah, and it looks like you're slowing down in your speech a little bit. Yes. Sammy 101, we suspect a cabin depressurization. Don your mask. Don the mask. Anima, if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up in the camera. Excellent. You should start to notice those sensations all going away. And Sammy 102, if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up in the camera. Copy. That dizziness, warm flushing, and difficulty in concentration should be all going away. Do you notice that? Copy that. And Sarah 101, if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up in the camera. Let's pay attention to how good that oxygen is. You had heavy shoulders, you had warm flushing, you noticed an increase in your heart rate and the physiology of it. I want you to notice how quickly you recover with your oxygen. If you notice a lot of that just going away and feeling better, give me a thumbs up. Not quite yet? Okay, we'll give it a give it another minute. I jumped on you pretty quick. Okay, everybody, you guys did great.